I've had a lot of golfers ask me how they should get some depth in their backswing or how should they rotate their chest. And a lot of times golfers don't realize that they are doing a lot of this and not a lot of this. So let's jump into it. When we're talking about how to turn in the backswing, what I want you to take a second here to picture is that if I held my left arm, which is my lead arm, out in front, I want a 90 degree angle across my chest, so across my shoulders and out across my fingers. Where a lot of golfers go wrong is they'll make a backswing that looks like this. And you can tell that my chest hasn't moved. So I've done this motion with my arms and not enough rotation with my body. And I usually see what their tendency is just by one of my simple screens where I have them hold their arms straight out, get in a golf posture and twist. And I've seen people do as much as this and be like, look how much I turned, coach. Man, you didn't turn at all. This didn't move. And so what we have to imagine is we're trying to move our buttons on our shirt, but what we may not be realizing is, am I doing that and then collapsing my arm across my chest? So this is what I want you all to do. I want you to take your other hand, so your trail arm, put it underneath your armpit. We're not gonna make arm farts, so settle down, get back into our high school grade level here, not our middle school, elementary school level. So we're gonna hold our arm underneath our armpit, and if you slide your left arm across your chest, you're gonna feel that squeeze. We don't wanna feel that squeeze. We wanna keep our arm relaxed, our hand sitting underneath our armpit, and we're not squeezing it yet. We will squeeze it soon. However, when we make our backswing, we wanna feel like we get the most turn we can before we squeeze that arm against our chest because that squeeze should happen in the downswing. So what we're looking to do is we make that turn, and now when we start our downswing, I have room to turn my arm into my chest. This is where a lot of golfers get it wrong. They already have their arm glued across their chest, make that backswing, and now when they start to turn their chest, that left arm has nowhere to go but out, and so now it starts to follow, and that's where you get your over-the-top motion. But if you can keep the separation in your arm and from your chest, when you start that turn, you can now rotate into that forearm and you're trying to take your pec into your bicep and now you can get the shallow out while you get some rotation. So what I'd recommend doing is if you have a hard time with this, like that was, that's not easy to turn and leave your arm there and turn your chest. If that's a problem, find a door frame, grab that door frame, right? So start out here, turn, grab the inside of that door frame and then turn your chest into that arm and get a feel for that. And so again, we get to the top. If you're the golfer that lays your bicep across your chest at the backswing, there's nowhere for the club to shallow. It's just gonna follow your chest on the way out of town. So we have to feel like there's a little bit of space in between our armpit. And so that way we have a room between our bicep and our pec to rotate and leave our arms behind, which is a great saying I've heard along the way, leave our hands behind as we start our transition. This is a move that a lot of great golfers do that allows them to create some power and some torque, and then also shallow the golf club the right way. So if you have a hard time shallowing the golf club or you're consistently over the top, I would encourage you to try another version of this drill where you start with a, <coughs> this is one I stole from EA, start with the club out here like a helicopter and make sure that this is staying at a 180, so we don't change the angle here, rotate, bring your hands together, and you should have room now to rotate into that downswing. So we're do, starting out here, getting our squat, turning, coming together, should have plenty of space to turn into the downswing and start delivering the golf club. This little move can allow you to learn how to shallow, and if you're a high rotational player, where you have a lot of speed and a lot of turn from you're coming from your, your trunk, you can do this really well you're gonna want this in your ballpark because it's gonna allow you to facilitate the shallowing and get out of that pull over or come over the top motion. And so that's something I would really employ you to work on in the backswing is how can you best keep this as you rotate? And so if you struggle just doing this and turning, what I'll tell you to do is get this club on, back, on the top of your shoulders back here and just figure out how to twist first. Like learn that extend arms, then work your way to here, turn, connect arms, pull bicep into pec, 
start downswing. So again, if everything goes according to plan, should look a little something like this. So with that, think about that next time if you're an overtop golfer, check that video out, see what you think, give me a comment below. If you like our stuff, make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, check out for our next video. So until then, peace out.